I'm Dr. Richard Gilbert, professor of psychology at Loyola Marymount University in Los Angeles, California. And this is Griffith Parks, my avatar in the 3D virtual world of Second Life. For the next few minutes, Griffith and I will be taking you on a tour of Loyola Marymount Virtual University, LMU's growing campus in the new three-dimensional internet. So sit back, relax, and welcome to the future of higher education. Here on Loyola Marymount Virtual University, a group of faculty, administrators, and technical consultants are working to make LMU one of the world's leading educational institutions in the new three-dimensional internet. Veronique Flambard Weisbart, professor of modern languages and literatures, has helped create a simulation of a French Mediterranean village where students leave the traditional classroom and learn French by shopping in 3D French stores, interacting in authentic settings such as a medical clinic, Bonjour, madame. Je suis malade. attending French lectures, movies, and art openings in a cultural center. Chaque blog permet de proposer des points de vue personnels sur des sujets variés. En général, un avatar va raconter des anecdotes et ses activités quotidiennes and living and socializing in and around their own three-dimensional apartments. Le 24 février 1815, la vigie de Notre-Dame de la Garde signala le trois mâts le pharaon. Engineering Island is home to Vessel, the NSF-funded Virtual Engineering Sciences Learning Lab. Here, Dr. Stephanie August and Michelle Hammers are creating a virtual science museum and education center, where students use interactive exhibits with built-in feedback and assessment tools to gain hands-on practice with basic engineering concepts. Visitors to Engineering Island also experience the social side of engineering in the socializing, humanizing, or Sheehy Cafe. Virtual classrooms and amphitheaters on the island provide venues for distance learning, and gardens with interactive sculptures offer an inviting background for studying science and engineering. On Computer Science Island, Professor John Dionosio helps students learn how to turn the basic building blocks of virtual worlds, called PRIMS, into almost any imaginable object or structure and become the virtual builders and creators of the future. Students also learn scripting, which imbues virtual objects with behavior, telling them how to move, whether to change color, and generally what to do under certain conditions or stimuli. Clicking on the object can trigger the touch event. Your transformation code starts at that event's handler. Computer Science Island consists of classroom and office facilities, an auditorium modeled after the Turing machine. After the default tape is written, the tape is returned to the first tape position, and control is turned over to the Turing transition rules that were loaded from the SD card. A massive building platform for students to experiment with building and scripting and multi-tier exhibit spaces to allow student work to be displayed in world. Finally, on Psychology Island, Griffith and I have developed a 3D psychology department. It has a virtual research lab where professors and students conduct studies using avatars from around the world as subjects. It has offices to meet students or conduct focus groups. Seminar rooms for research meetings. And a conference center to host presentations, panel discussions, 
and national or international conferences. The island is also home to Dreamworld, a three-dimensional museum that tells the story of humanity's efforts to understand the mystery of dreams from ancient times to the present. My colleagues and I intend to expand on the efforts you've just seen and build the first comprehensive university in the 3D Internet. A university whose size and teaching and research activity rivals that of universities existing in the physical world. Imagine another island devoted to immersive foreign language learning in Chinese. Imagine a government island with a virtual United Nations, a virtual Congress, and a virtual White House. Imagine a law island with a virtual world court, supreme court, and municipal court. Imagine all of this and more as part of LMU. With the work we've already done, we're halfway to achieving this exciting and ambitious goal. And with the support of the wider university community, we hope to complete this process in the near future. Thank you.